Hello, everybody. Have you ever wondered how you would pay for college? As a college student, you probably found yourself thinking that quite often. I am a current college student, and I find myself asking myself that question a lot lately. I work full time, and I provide for my family, and I also go to college to further my education. And I also find myself asking the question, how am I going to pay for college? During this uh, presentation, I will go over the different costs of colleges in the United States compared to um, other countries, as well as the student debt in the United States, primarily in Tennessee, as well as some solutions to um, decrease the student debt in the United States and also shed some light on some of the resources that are available to us as students to help pay for college. First off, we'll be talking about the different colleges um, costs from the United States compared to other countries and the student debt in Tennessee. First off, college is something that we all strive for, at least some of us, and others would like to go to college but have a fear of thinking, how am I going to afford to, to do that? Because other, peop I mean, other people have obligations like family to raise or they don't have any support from their their um, parents or guardians on how to pay for college and find themselves thinking can I even afford college if I can't afford it why should I go um, according to Elizabeth Bell with the Journal of Higher Education college affordability concerns dominate discussions of higher education policy with over 70 percent of parents expressing concern about how to finance their child's college education now the number one reason for not attending college is the cost of college. Uh, according to um, Imagine American Foundation, numerous students think they cannot afford to go to college and this often deters them from even considering it. So the cost of college does affect people's decision on whether or not they should go to college or not. Another reason is student debt. Everybody has this big negative connotation around student debt. Now, 12.2% of Tennessee residents have student loan debt, according to the education data. And about $36,549 is the average student loan debt in Tennessee alone. I also have a chart of student loan debt by state and the average borrowed debt and student total debt, as you can see right there. And Tennessee's at the very bottom. Now, the cost of college in the United States for a bachelor's degree at a public institution is $8,202. In Australia, it's $4,463. In Italy, it's $1,658. Mexico, it's $527. Denmark, Estonia, and in several other countries have a cost of $0. And this is according to Business Insider by Melanie Warren. If that doesn't show you the extreme amount of cost, it, 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 it um, takes to go to college in the United States and I don't know what will it's very very concerning and that can make people not want to attend college moving along we are going to go over some um, resources on how we can or resources that students can use to help pay for college debt as well as um, some um, federal things to help alleviate student loan debt now, first off, I feel like as a college student, we've all heard FAFSA, known as the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It is used to help find out if you're eligible for federal grants or helps you apply for federal loans. And I have a little video of that. If you need help paying for college or career school, the Office of Federal Student Aid might be your best option. We offer more than $150 billion to students each year in the form of grants, loans, and work-study funds. And federal student aid can be used to pay for school expenses, such as tuition, room and board, and books and supplies. After you've filled out the free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, you'll receive an award letter from each school you list on your FAFSA. This letter explains both the federal and non-federal financial aid options that a school is offering you. So let's talk about federal aid. If you qualify for and receive a federal grant, you won't have to repay the money. That will definitely help offset the cost of school, but you may still need additional help. If so, a federal student loan might be your answer. 
Remember, a student loan is just like any other loan. It's borrowed money that will have to be repaid with interest. If you plan to take out a loan, consider federal... Those are just some options that, um, that are determined by the FAFSA, and every college usually requires you to fill out a FAFSA to um, see if you're eligible for any financial aid or grants. Another thing that Tennessee offers is the Tennessee Student Assistance uh, Corporation, also known as the TSAC, and that's where you would uh, apply for the Tennessee Promise if you just came out of high school, or if um, you are considered an independent, you would be eligible for the Tennessee Reconnect. And also, like, you can get the Hope, call, uh, the Hope Scholarship uh, through there and the lottery and other um, ways for payment for college costs. Now, another way that could possibly help offset the cost of student debt would be um, initiating a loan refinance authority. Um, and Mike Brown with the Tennessean shed some light on this with um, this quote, um, refinancing opens up greater opportunities for students to stimulate their location or their local Tennessee econ economy and expanding overall costs of their loans. So this would help help them pay it off faster and also help the economy where they live. Now in conclusion, I have went over the cost of college in the United States and the cost of colleges in other countries and the comparison of those. I also went over some student debt that um, Tennessee has and the statistics with that. I feel like if we all came together, we would be able to end student debt and if we could find ways to help that, maybe more people would go to college. Thank you.